Hey guys, enter the stars, and we have discovered the secret behind Bluetooth. This video is going to be amazing. First, we're going to get into the last video that I uploaded about Jay-Z and his music video 444. Because this ties in to Bluetooth. This also ties in to Vikings, the series that I just finished watching, watched all four seasons of it. Jay-Z just uploaded a music video for his album and song named 444. Now, not only did he upload this, what you're gonna hear is he talks about Bluetooth. Listen. These are, this is an excerpt from his music video we hear the Bluetooth. Now, I do know that Blue Ivy is his daughter's name, but this goes very deep. This is why he's mentioning the tooth. We're going to get into this. Now, what you're looking at here is a film called 444, The Last Day on Earth. It released in 2011, 2012. It's got the same name as Jay-Z's video. And here we see the snake eating its tail. But we also see the blue tooth prominently shown, matching up, overlaying Jay-Z's video. Watch. There's the blue tooth right here. It seems to be highlighted. And in this movie, it's the end of the world. It's the last days on Earth. She's painting this picture of the Ouroboros. The Ouroboros is the snake eating its tail. It's time. It's the sine wave. It is sin. Watch. As though our tradition were against and us. So. So this goes on. We see many overlays of these people just all spaced out because they know the world's coming. And we see the same voodoo. It's like this voodoo stare in this black woman here. This is from the film again. It's the, I call it the voodoo stare. See this here, eyes? And everyone is spaced out because the world's gonna end. This released right around the time of 2012 when all of this end of the world stuff was going on. And here, they're laying in the middle of the Ouroboros. And there's time signifying the time wave, sin, the sine wave, which is the snake, the dust eating dust, that was the curse of the dust, the serpent will go on his dust and eat dust all the days of his life. That brings us back to what we're going to talk about now, and that is Bluetooth. Now this is crazy. Because Bluetooth was named after Harold Bluetooth, the Viking. Harold Bluetooth, it says right here in the Bluetooth Wikipedia page. I'm not making this up. Now what's so special about Harold Bluetooth other than he had a bluish black tooth? This is why they named him Harold Bluetooth. Well, Bluetooth's grandfather, Bluetooth's grandfather was Sigurd, snake in the eye. He had an Ouroboros. He was born with an Ouroboros in his pupil. A snake biting its own tail, which, which, which we just showed you in this film. And we just showed you how Jay-Z referenced this in his 444 music video. Now, this was prophesied by his mother, Oslog. So we had Harold Bluetooth, which is what name Bluetooth was named after. We showed you the Ouroboros. And then his grandfather, Sigurd Snake in the Eye, had an Ouroboros in his eye. Now, all of this was depicted in the Vikings on the History Channel, which I just got done watching.
They even showed the Ouroboros surrounding Floki. Who was Floki? Well, he was like the Loki character of the Vikings and he was being punished and they tied him to a pole. And then Ragnar, the king, drew an Ouroboros around Loki. Now it states here that Harold Bluetooth, that the Bluetooth insignia, the sign for the logo for the Bluetooth, which is here, this sign is a rune symbol. That's two rune symbols actually superimposed on one another, the Hegel and the Bajarkan. So I looked those up and look what I found. The Hegel means hail, like hail, like snow. And the other word, Birkenen, means birch. So this is hail and the birch tree. Now, here are the different instances where it's talked about. And they talk about serpents. Hail is cold grain. They describe it as cold grain coming from heaven. They do talk about Christ in here, but I believe they're trying to mix the good with evil. The birch part of the symbol, they talk about that too. That this birch has no fruit, yet it can generate new life from its leaves. This may be something that has to do with the insemination of the serpent in the human race. Why do you say that, Casey? Because the Bluetooth is a personal area network. Yes, it is a pan. And here's where the serpent comes in. Because in two of the three works that James Elephantus produced during his career, before he opened Comet Ping Pong, he shows the serpent, Automatic at Sea, Chapel Perilous, and he talks about the serpent. He talks about the serpent being the cosmic serpent, junk DNA, ping ponging across the universe, infecting the universe with the blue blood. Little cell organism to the majestic blue whale. Now, in his 1995 breakthrough book, The Cosmic Serpent, Dr. Jeremy Narby, a Swiss archeologist, comes up with a theory that this chunk DNA actually contains a coded language. And if you still think that Comet Ping Pong in the Pizzagate thing was a psyop, you missed the whole point. You're sadly mistaken. It was there all along. It just never went mainstream because people didn't want this information to become mainstream. A personal area network that reaches 33 feet to 330 feet. Where have we heard that number before? At Pan's Grotto at the foot of Mount Hermon where the fallen angels came down at 33 degrees north parallel. And now for the ultimate truth. Just as Moses raised up a serpent in the wilderness for the Israelites, the Son of Man will be raised up on a pole. Those were Jesus' words. This, what you're looking at, is the gelling stone of Harold Bluetooth. Here he depicts Christ. They're saying it's a tree wrapped around him. But on this other side, they admit that this is a serpent wrapped around a lion. On this left side here. Who is the lion of the tribe of Judah? That would be Christ. Here they call it a tree wrapped around Christ. Here they're saying it's a serpent wrapped around a lion. You do the math and think about 
Jesus' words of what he said, comparing himself being crucified to the serpent in the wilderness of Moses. Why would Jesus say that? Because Jesus had to come and correct the blue blood by spilling his red, pure blood. Remember the serpent in the wilderness was bronze, which is 88% copper. Copper makes blue blood. There are organisms on this planet with copper-based blood. Mollusks, spiders, centipedes, and squid. Are you starting to understand what all this really means? And why we need Jesus purifying blood? Do you get this now? This wasn't some empty sacrifice. This is a sacrifice of all ages. The sacrifice to correct our blood. Being born again. You can't make this up, you guys. The copper IUD is the serpent beast in the womb. This is the story of the copper IUD. The serpent coiled around the T. 1988 is when the copper IUD began being marketed in the United States. And bronze is 88% copper. Let's read the story from the Bible about the womb as you look and see the similarities of the womb and the inner eye. It says they traveled from Mount Hor along the route to the Red Sea. This is the Red Sea. This, in fact, is the womb and also the parting of the Red Sea by Moses. To go around Edom, but the people grew impatient on the way. They spoke against God and against Moses and said, Why have you brought us here out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? This is also the wilderness. Egypt is the pyramid of the image coming into your eye. It is the looking out instead of looking within. This is why the ancient Egyptians built pyramids on the earth. This is the earth here, the convex lens. The Israelites were led out of the wilderness, through the wilderness for 40 years they were in the wilderness. That represents the 40 weeks in the womb of a human child. And they were led by the ark, which is the earth. The convex lens, this is an ark, the ark of the covenant. Moses parted the Red Sea with a staff. That is the Hyloid Canal. He parted the Red Sea with the staff, the power of God. And the twin opposed vortexes, the pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day is what guided them ahead of the ark. And this is it here, the two pillars, the pillar here and the pillar there, connected with the narrow gate to heaven. So they go on complaining. You brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness. There is no bread, there is no water, and we detest this miserable food. They are cut off from the waters, the cerebral spinal fluid waters, the endless waters that are self-replenishing, and they must make their way through the vitreous humor waters, which are not self-replenishing. And it says, Then the Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people, and many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake. Bronze is 88% copper. And he put it on the pole. And then anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, they lived. Now Jesus addresses this in his words, in his own words. He says, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. And so you see, we have a juxtaposition. 
We have the blue bloods, the copper-based blood that the Israelites had to look upon to live. And then we had the iron-based pure blood of Christ that corrects our blood, you see. So they were out of Egypt in the womb. The copper serpent killed them. And that's exactly what the copper IUD does in the womb. Here it is, Paragard. And it is the number one copper IUD in the world. And when you take this word Paragard and you reverse it, it says drag, A-R-A-P, dragon with, because the word para means with. And so what it really means is with the dragon. So there you have it, you guys. The root word of dragon is drag, as you can see here. Draco, dragon, dragoon, drag. It's all here. Paragard, backwards, is with the dragon. It's coiled like a serpent, self-described right here in their own words. Coiled coiled together coiled like a serpent this is it wrapped around the pole just as it is in the bible came to market in the united states in 1988 bronze is 88 copper it's all there mechanism of action preventing pregnancy it is the serpent within the womb now we told you that the fallopian tubes represented the serpent eating the dust of the ovaries the days of its life, the curse placed on it, and that the anatomy of our body tells us the story of the fall of man. When we were given our flesh suits, God wanted to ensure that it was encoded so that one day we could find the truth. Now this is the man that invented the IUD. His name is Ernest Graffenberg, known to have discovered the G-spot. And more fascinating revelations. When we use our own critical thinking to think about the Bible. Now this is unbelievable because Cain's Hebrew name Cayenne, as you can see how in yellow here, is the same word for cyan, which is blue. We talked about the blue bloods, and I've told you that Cain's father is the devil. Now the picture is becoming complete because Cain or Cayenne had the blue blood just as we told you and all we're going to do is continue to find these connections because this is very real this knowledge has been hidden from you now when we look here we also see that cyan its opposite color it's perfectly opposite color which is called complementary color is red here you see it it says here in the 20th century doctors switched to cyan hospital gowns why did they do that they did it because it is a complementary color of red you can't make this up they knew it's a complementary color of red. What does this have to do with Cain, you're asking? Well, Cain spilled his brother's blood. And God goes on and on talking about how Cain was now cursed because his brother's blood was crying out all the way to heaven from the ground. Does this ring a bell? 
Yes, it should, because in the book of Enoch, the cries of all the slain reached heaven as well when the fallen angels came down and went mixed with the daughters of men. Again, we have a serpent incursion into the bloodline. So that overlays the story of Cain. And all of that explains why Cyan in Roman mythology, who was a nymph who tried to prevent this from abducting Proserpina, there's your serpine, serpent, that when she failed, she dissolved away in tears. Yes, the tears that reached heaven upon the death. And now this all begins to tie together and make sense. Proserpina, the serpent, the daughter of grain and agriculture. And we know that Cain was the tiller of the ground and worker of the fields and it goes on it says and now thou art cursed from the earth which has opened her mouth to receive your brother's blood from the hand when you till the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto you their strength a fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth the opposite of red Cayenne or Cyan. Now why no one has made these connections up until this point is beyond me. But now we begin to look at the blue bloods. We know that a copper a serpent was raised up in the wilderness by Moses. A blue blood. Copper is blue. Copper based organisms have blue blood. The horseshoe crab. It is called hemocyanin. It is a blue blood component rather than iron based blood. This is real. And some may argue that some humans also have blue blood. And this is the point I'm putting forward to you. Now, this does not condemn people with blue blood. Obviously, God tries to save Cain. He had to talk with him. He also told people that if you kill Cain, you'll be cursed seven times. But before Cain killed his brother, God had a talk with him and he said, if you do well, you shall be accepted. Why would God ask or tell Cain, if you do well, you'll be accepted? Because God already knew that Cain had the blue blood. And he told him, if, you're not, if you do not do well, sin lay at the door. And unto you it will be its desire. In other words, sin will desire you. It will naturally attach to you and rule over you if you allow it. After that, Cain killed his brother. He gave in to his blue blood tendencies, you see. Which is probably why God could not accept Cain's sacrifice because Cain had different blood. God knew it. And his sacrifice that God made to him was tainted. Now that we use our critical thinking, we can see other connections. Cyanobacteria. The blue bacteria that is taking over the planet. Blue green algae blooms everywhere. This is part of the curse. And on a side note, Candida, which is a flora type of fungus that grows in different places. Candida is fed by candy or sugar. You see that when you use your own critical thinking, you can get to the bottom of things rather than accepting the general consensus of what is out there. All of this is about words. And I believe we've solved.
the mystery of Cain, the blue blood, the cyan. Take care and be safe, you guys.